Welcome to Tin Pod Radio. Where did we end last time? I was about to shit myself with hearts hanging from hooks and creepy covered in ooze things. Continue. I turned to Serenity and reminded him this was his idea. He didn't agree, but we were interrupted by the creepy thingy. Um, It told us about how the tower was once a huge statue, giving Serenity a happy he was about that. Yeah, that's creepy too. Uh, we were told a story as we all sat down on the blood splattered floor. Like Boy Scouts, I guess. So yeah, the black ooze was actually blood. The left sat and worse. Don't ask. Uh, the creepy gave us the story of ancient Trusley. Then known as Ella, I think if I remember right. Sounds about right, but oh, and it was called that by its people. Uh, Ella was visited by the earth god of abundance, Plutus, the son of Dementor. I guess that's where you spell that too. I don't think I met them. Um, okay, the son of Dementor had come to Ella to find a home for his mad daughter, Tysi. Tysi was the goddess of prosperity, but had gone mad as she tortured humans with the prosperity of famine. The prosperity of lust, the prosperity of hatred, and to the scale that death himself had to step in to stop her. Uh, Plotus begged death to spare her life. Together they muddled their lineage to cover their actions, and Plutus was sent to the Lord by death to prepare her new home. Ella was a hive mind planet. Every creature, plant, or cloud was his own. And here, Plotus left Tysi in chains. In time, Ella grew sad for Tysi and introduced her to her soul. But she was much more than just a mad god. She was a devious woman. And Tysi forcefully bonded with Ella, as Greek gods tend to do, and also Christian ones. Um, she twisted half the planet's population into creatures of pure hunger and let them loose to feed on the other half. After, yeah, after only the hunger remained, she manipulated the plant to produce a substance that would draw in those keen for many planets so she and her creatures could satisfy their appetite. After she stopped speaking, Serenity asked about the tower. I'm just a guy of questions. I'm a guy of like, let's get the shit out of there, but he had questions. She told us it was built in her honor to appease her. With centuries it was filled with the remains of visitors to Ella. Filled until it collapsed upon itself. Then we learned how Green knew about the planet in the first place. She had visited there in the past and she caused the final collapse of the statue hoping to kill or at least trap Tacy. Keep her out of reach, basically, of flesh which the god had grown to be a master of. Green helped some out of Tysi's control to think for themselves and to cover their planet in stone to further weaken their god. In time, the free thinking of Ella died off, not being able to defend themselves against the hunger without Green. I mean, we try to help those in those situations. Green is a helper. And I hate to admit it, but so is Serenity. But we, most of the time, we just stare to pot further. Why did you go there? I wanted it to be like them. I want to be like them. They always stand strong and make complicated decisions. 
directions are hard in control. I wanted to show Serenity I could walk beside her. One. I wanted to show Serenity I could walk beside her. Do you need a break? No. Tysie reached out and the bloody chains wrapped around us and the hooks dug into her flesh. She laughed and the chains spun around the room. The chains brought me over to her. She wormed her way under my skin and into my mind like an echo. I could hear her. I could hear Serenity yelling for me to resist her. The next thing I remembered was crawling out at a crack we entered through. Serenity helped me to my feet. And I asked him what happened, and he told me. He told me, cold and without hesitation. He told me I wasn't strong enough to fight her ripping my life away. He had freed himself, but couldn't leave me behind. She released me after he made her a promise. He won't tell me what the promise was. Then he went to the darkness by him. And he won't leave there. That's my fault. And whatever he promised, he is hiding from. And you are worried. What did he give up for me? What burden does he have because of me? The darkness bite. Those types of places. They're drug to us. You cannot control others' reactions. Only your own. <laughs> Fucking shit, man. The voice of Tin Universe is Stacey Taylor. For ebooks, webcomics, short films, and more, head over to tinuniverse.blogspot.com.